fish as a source of food provides animal protein to more than 1 billion people on a daily basis. Fish provides nutrients and micronutrients that are essential to physical development, especially among the children, forming a crucial part of their healthy diet. One particular problem that is affecting the management of fisheries and marine ecosystems around the world is the number of overfishing in some areas, use of poor fishing methods and also the pollution of fish breeding areas and water bodies. In a bid to keep track on the number of fish and also monitor the biomass of fish, availability of food, in this case plankton, and the level at which bigger fish prey on smaller fish, an activity known as fish stock assessment, is usually carried out by scientists from the National Fisheries Resources Research Institute, NAFIRI. To monitor how this is done, we set up from the Ripon docking site in Jinja on a research vessel. We are not only joined by scientists, but also Sami interns specializing in fisheries and employees of NAFIRI, the National Fisheries Resources Research Institute, which is under the National Agricultural Research Organization, mandated with carrying out fish stock assessment. After sailing for at least an hour on the lake, the process of carrying out the assessment kicks off with the casting of a net, commonly known as a troll, into the water. The net is usually big and heavy, and a pulley system is usually used to lower it down along with some weights to ensure that it sinks deep. We have now concluded our first step of the fish trawling and assessment process. The first step involves sinking the nets deep in the lake and then we shall have to wait for at least 30 minutes then to go to the next step. The next step will involve pulling out the nets, sorting the fish to find out which fish species are in the lake and also counting the fish to try and know the exact number of the fish in Lake Victoria. Trolling as a method of fishing involves actively dragging or pulling a troll through the water behind one or more trawlers. Trolls are fishing nets that are pulled along the bottom of the sea or in mid-water at a specific time. After the time has elapsed, the net is pulled out of the water in a slow but organized manner, revealing the catch which is often then assorted according to size and species. When the catch is brought on the board, we tend to sort out the big fishes right from 30 centimeters and above and we take the weight and we also sort in terms of species like you can see we have narrow patch here, we have narrow trap here, here which also have been sorted and we make sure we take the quantities then from there we do the analysis in the laboratory to ensure we are able to assess how much fish is in the lake. According to the scientists, recent trolls on the lake by Nafir have seen an increase in the number of fish in terms of biomass. Previously the stock abundance of fish had gone down almost to, almost to 50 metric tons in the lake because of the illegalities which was going on. People were overfishing, they were using uh, bad methods of fishing, but through, thanks to the president, like uh, Yoweri Kagutam 7, he brought in the Marine Army, working in tandem with the fisheries officers, and they have been able to remove all those illegalities on Lake Victoria. And because of that, when we did the last straw survey, we were able to register a lot of fish as compared, actually three times as compared to the total biomass which you have been getting. They also explain why most of the fish captured during these quarterly trolls is young. But right now, most of the fish is young. And the reason is young is because of the management which has just taken, the intervention has just been taken by the Marine Army and the, fisher, the district fisheries officers has just taken place. So we hope that through that intervention, we may even get more fish 
which should be able to feed our industries, uh, the fish factories. Nile perch has very high fecundity. Fecundity is a term that is used to indicate the number of eggs it can produce at a given time. Nile perch produces 140 eggs per gram of body weight. Indicating if you have a fish which can grow to 100 kilograms, that one will produce for you up to 14 million eggs. The director of research at the National Fisheries Resources Research Institute reveals that the increasing human activity on Lake Victoria has had negative impacts on the fish ecosystems, something that needs to change. But because people have become very many more, they have cleared all those. And as we clear this marginal vegetation, we now allow the silting of the lakes. A lot of water has been, uh, land has been cleared and the uh, and, and, and what? And, 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 and the soils end up in, in entering into the water, making the lakes shallower, making the river, rivers where they pass shallower, and also making the water misty. And if the water makes, gets murky, water gets murky, it's not, no longer clear, even the fish breeding is interfered with. For now, the life of fishermen at landing sites such as Masese in Jinja district is blossoming with the increase in the size of the fish, especially the Nile perch. Sohel Mugabe, NTV Green.